Welcome to 8.3's Math Moment. Today, students continue to work with the metric system, but today they were focused on metric units of weight, so working with the basic unit grams. In the metric system, all weight is measured in grams, and then um, other units of grams, including kilograms, milligrams, um, and the other ones in between. So again, we're going to use the saying, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk to help us remember how to move, which directions, um, and also whether we're multiplying, dividing, getting smaller and larger um, as we move from one unit of um, measure to the next. So let's look at the first example. The first example says 5,700 kilograms equals how many milligrams? So the strategy that we've always used or we've been practicing has been to start with what you have a number for. And in this case, I have a number for kilograms. So I'm going to start there. Then I need to count how long it takes me or how many jumps it takes me to get to the unit that I want. So I'm going to move from kilograms to milligrams. One, two, three, four, five, six jumps to get me from kilo to milli. So I'm going to note that I need to make six moves there. And then I need to think about which direction I'm moving on the chart. I was moving from kilo to milli, so I'm moving towards the right. And so I put that in my notes as well. Now all I need to do is take the number that I have and move the decimal point, the direction, and the spaces that are, um, I wrote down in my notes. So I'm going to move it six places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And place my decimal point at the end. And then fill in any zeros. So my final answer becomes 570,000 milligrams. And then you're going to want to encourage your student to stop and, make, and ask himself if it makes sense. If I have this many kilograms, should my number for milligrams be that much larger? And the answer would be yes, because I would need more milligrams to equal the same amount of a larger unit, kilograms. So let's take a look at another example. This time I have milligrams. I have 9,872 of them, and I need to move to grams. Now notice that grams doesn't have a letter in between, or excuse me, in the front, because it is just the basic unit gram which is um, noted by the U in our chart. So I'm going to move from milligrams to grams. One, two, three. And I was moving to the left. So I'm going to take my number that I have, and I'm going to move my decimal point three spots to the left. Now notice, this is a whole number, so it doesn't have a decimal in the middle. Instead, it has an invisible decimal point at the end. Every whole number has an invisible dec decimal point at the end. So I'm going to move it three spots to the left. One, two, three. For a final answer of nine and 872 thousandths. So then when students um, got some practice with just basic conversions, they then applied that knowledge to word problems. So let's take a look at that in example two. It says two packages are on Jordan's porch. Package one has a mass of one and 56 hundredths kilograms. Package two is 756 grams. Which package has more mass? How much more? Okay, so I know that I'm gonna have to compare these two because it's asking me which one has more mass and how much more does it have? So in order to compare units of measure, they have to be in the same unit. I can't compare kilograms with grams. Um, it makes it very difficult to do that. So I have to make them the same thing. I can choose to either make grams into kilograms or I could change kilograms into grams. The problem doesn't indicate which one I need to convert it to, so I can make that choice. As long as I make both of the numbers the same unit, I'll be able to compare them appropriately. So I'm gonna to choose to go ahead and work with kilograms and change it to match grams. So I already have 756 grams, and now I need to work with 1.56 kilograms and move it three spots, one, um, I believe three, one, two, three, yes. So I'm going to move it one, two, three, add a zero. So I have 1,560 grams. Now that they're both in grams, it's really easy for me to see which one has more mass, which one is heavier. It would definitely be package one that's heavier. So I know I could answer this first part of the question. But then it says, okay, how much more mass does it have? Or how much heavier is it? So then, whenever I see how much more, I know that I need to subtract to find the difference. 
I can't take 6 away from 0, so I'm going to have to borrow and make that a 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 minus 7 I can't do, so I'll make it 15. 15 minus 7 is 8. And package A is 804 grams more than package, um, package B or package 2. If you have any other questions about converting with grams in the metric system, please make sure to see your math teacher.